These are posters Chaska parents say administrators didn't allow students to hang inside the high school during Black History Month. A poster with an image of Malcolm X, another displaying a photo of Emmett Till, the 14-year-old whose murder propelled the civil rights movement of the 60s. The image next to it, a 12-year-old boy killed by police. Their history can't be censored and that they should feel okay and empowered to be able to showcase whoever they want. Parent and Tanya Blackstone Coleman's want. daughter helped create these posters. Coleman said she asked the district superintendent, high school principal, and equity coordinator why the posters were banned. The response? They had to meet the community where they are, was her exact words. They have to be careful about the message that they put up in their building, that the, the, the comfort level of the majority of the community was, a consider, was more of a consideration in this situation than the ability or the, the consideration for the minority African-American part of the community to be able to celebrate their history. But to understand this parent's hurt, you must look back at the patterns of blatant racism in the school district. In December, we spoke with a family who said their son's gym shirt was stolen from his locker and returned with the N-word written on it. Last month, some Chaska students were accused of wearing blackface, taunting other black students on social media. And in 2018, the district made national headlines after students at a Chaska High School football game were accused of wearing blackface. Parents have expressed concerns yeah. repeatedly. And just so you know, we've been talking to them since December. I went to the school board meeting and told them about this. Turns out portions of her audio from this February school board meeting were not recorded. The district apologizing, saying, quote, there were issues with the recorded playback audio. We sent an extensive list of questions for the district to answer and called. They sent an email saying, in part, the equity coordinator is no longer employed by Eastern Carver County Schools. Also, the district says, quote, black history is to be studied and celebrated throughout the course of the year. The kids are getting upset at this point and, and are showing their their dissatisfaction. It's not really it's not only the parents at this point. And so I think it's reaching a point where they can't really keep turning their a blind eye to what's going on here. So what now? About an hour ago, I received an email response from the district. They didn't say why the equity coordinator no longer is employed by the district. Okay. And they did go on to say that they're searching for her replacement. Bottom line, I would like to have a candid conversation with the superintendent on camera. Nevertheless, in that written statement, a spokesperson did say the posters denied included the political movement Black Lives Matter. We will put the district's response in its entirety on care11.com. But happening right now, those uh, posters that were not allowed to be on display at the high school are on display in Chaska at a venue where they're holding what they call Black History 365 Uncensored. So it's a program that the students and parents put on for tonight. All right, thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much, Adrian. And she extended that invitation right here on the show. So if that superintendent wants to talk, they're invited.